In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the fourth video of the second part of the four-part series about the Coptic Pope and Wonder Worker, Pope Kyrillos VI. The Pope was very close to the saints, especially his friend Saint Mina the wonder-working martyr, who would circle around the mill in old Cairo and defend it. As a patriarch, he would be heard speaking with someone in his cell, but one would not know who that other voice belonged to, due to not seeing anyone with him in his cell. Most of the time that is. Some people astonished the Pope asking him about what they saw, and after hearing that description, he told them it was Saint Mina. Saint Mina accompanied the Pope in his spiritual journey, from childhood until they finally resided in heaven together. As noted earlier, he would be visited by ancient desert fathers and anchorites, like Abba Paul the ancient desert father and first anchorite. He was also close to the contemporary anchorites, hermits, and church fathers in the desert in Egypt. When he was severely distraught and faced with insurmountable problems, he would not meet with anyone, would take his disciple and head to the seclusion of the monastery of Saint Mina, and would close the door of the church shut. He would dim the lights and start the liturgy. Then the place would gradually fill with hermits, while the doors are shut, until there is no space for one more. The Pope's tears increased as the church started to fill up. Pope Kyrillos would explain that those were the contemporary anchorites in the desert of Egypt. Through their prayers, most of the problems were solved soon after. But Pope Kyrillos had a strong sense of fatherhood, having disciples that under his blessings, became blessed, wonder-working anchorites themselves. Father Faltau is El Soriani, who lived at the student house constructed by Father Mina in Old Cairo, and, especially, Mother Irene Mercurius, were such exemplary individuals. And just like him, they had the gift of agility to teleport to distant places, the gifts of levitation, working miracles, illumination, clairvoyance and clairaudience, and healings. Every few years, a book for each of them is published, with testimonies of people, to what the Lord does to them through their intercession. There are many other unexplained, unique, and unusual spiritual gifts associated with our beloved saint. After his repose, an Egyptian family that lived in a very rough neighborhood, that was filled with crime in the U.S., put the Pope's picture facing the apartment door from the inside, asking him to protect it. After they came home one day, their apartment was broken into and someone was passed out inside. They fearfully woke him up. The Pope appeared and ordered him not to come there again, he said. He realized that it was the picture moving and talking, and he was scared and fainted. Another instance, also after the Pope's repose, took place with a Muslim picture frame maker. He initially mocked our saint as a turbaned Iranian spiritual Khomeini. His attitude changed, as he decided he would not give back that broken picture to the Christian woman on her next visit. The reason was that the Pope got out of the picture, and healed his teenage daughter, who was paralyzed since birth. There is also the gift of transfiguration, or shape-shifting, in modern science fiction language. He once checked on one of his disciples, while that disciple was baking the communion bread thinking that he is unseen. When the disciple noticed him, the Pope quickly changed into a dove, flying to his patriarchal cell. The disciple ran after the Pope into his cell and confronted him. Finally, he would take people in the spirit world. After his repose, one nun in the convents of old Cairo, was on her deathbed, with nuns gathering around her, for her to take her last breath very late one night. They heard her talk, and they thought that she was hallucinating. 
She was in fact in a trance talking to Pope Kyrillos, who healed her, and asked if she wanted to confess, to which she audibly replied, but they will hear me. The Pope assured that it would not happen, and the nuns around her bed slept due to exhaustion at that moment. After she finished confessing, the nuns awoke with her voice saying, I sinned absolve me, to have the Pope recite the absolution prayer to her. The nuns also heard her say, yes, followed after a long while with the question, but who are these two priests? She explained saying, that the Pope in that trance state, asked her if she wanted to receive communion. She said yes and she found herself together with the Pope attending a liturgy with two priests. Those two hid their faces with scarfs, with only their eyes, that emitted strong light were visible. She asked the Pope about them, so he told her, I can't tell you their names, as they are still alive in your physical world. The nun, that was breathing her last on her deathbed, one night at some point, not only fully recovered, but attended a liturgy, and took communion in the spiritual realm, with two anchorites who hadn't died, together with the Pope who was reposed in the Lord. Everything that was the Pope, not just his body, mind, and soul but his subconscious as well, were completely immersed in God. Doctors gave him anesthesia to operate on him, and during the state, when he was neither under the influence of that drug, nor fully awake, his so-called hallucination was just reciting the Psalms one after the other in the order of the Book of the Prayers, called the Ibea in the Coptic Church. He never discriminated against anyone asking for his help. For example, after his death, a picture of him at a Chalcedonian Greek Orthodox priest's house exuded oil. He also appeared to another Greek priest asking him not to cry and telling that he himself too, meaning the Pope, was praying for church unity as well. As mentioned before, he blessed that Protestant with a PhD in theology despite refusing to return to orthodoxy. He also worked miracles to the infidels, Muslims or otherwise. Christ's compassion really shone on his creation, through the signs, wonders and personality of Pope Kyrillos VI. Brothers and sisters, this concludes our fourth video in the second part, about the channel's second patron saint and intercessor. The link of the fifth video will be provided below.